This is not about miscommunication. This is not about public disclosure. A university divided against itself. As the University of Texas at Austin wraps its semester, the campus appears as polarized as ever. Between the layoffs of as many as five dozen faculty members in an effort to comply with the state's ban on diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives, and the law enforcement response to the chaotic pro-Palestine protest last month, culminating in the arrests of more than 100 people, university affiliates have been divided on where to stand. It's important to, to highlight those that we are protecting those particular groups of students. At this point in time, what we are calling for, what we are paying attention for, is that this particular group of students is being targeted. Over the last two days, the UT Faculty Council has met for special called meetings, almost entirely dedicated to crafting a resolution to criticize the university for its handling of the student protests, several versions of which have failed to pass. We need to be asking ourselves, was the university's response to the recent protests consistent with a completely free and open discussion of ideas? Though the faculty council doesn't have control over official university policies, such a resolution could spell trouble for the university. More than 650 faculty members signed on to a letter expressing no confidence in UT President Jay Hartzell. But a number of prominent people have also backed UT's president. Just yesterday, more than 50 Texas House Republicans signed on to a letter that not only supports Hartzell, but calls on those dissident faculty members, not Hartzell, to resign themselves. And within university leadership, the Board of Regents of the system too is backing Hartzell. On Wednesday, UT System Chair Kevin Altaif praised the law enforcement response to the protests, applauding and giving a standing ovation to Texas Department of Public Safety troopers in the room. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.